show you how to do quality control of FASTQ files. Every time you do sequencing, before you can align or map your sequence to a reference genome or do de novo assembly, first thing you need to do is to check whether the quality of the sequencing was good. The QC check not only shows you how good the bases are, but also shows if you have, uh, for example, adapter contamination or overrepresented sequences. So for that, I usually use the program called FastQC. So let's see here. If I want to find out the quality of this particular FastQ file, what I do is FastQC, and then you just type your FastQ name, FastQ uh, file name, and hit enter. And then, as you can see here, it started doing the QC analysis on it. Since the this the size of file is pretty small, it's going very fast. Once you have the quality control completed, then you will have two files generated. So as you can see now, if I press LS, you can see I have an HTML file and a zip file. If you open this HTML file, it's going to look something like this. So here there are a number of uh, statistics. So there is a summary of all the quality control. And the first thing you see is this graph where on x-axis you have the, the position of, in the read in terms of base pairs. So I have 35 base pairs. And the y-axis is the quality score, which uh, ranges from 0 to 36 in this case. Anything above 30 is considered as good quality. So uh, in this particular file, pretty much all of the bases have a score of 32 or above. In case, say you had first five bases or last few bases with a really low quality some, somewhere here in yellow or red region, the next step would be to, to trim the FASTQ file. So you can trim those first five bases pair, base pairs or last five base pairs. Some of other important uh, summary statistics here is the sequence duplication level or overrepresented sequence. A lot of times, overrepresented sequences contain adopters from, say, Illumina or Nextera, any adopter that is actually from the library. Those adopters need to be removed before you can map your sequence on on the genome or do the genome assembly. So you can go, you can Google any of these statistics and find out more about what each of them mean. But this is how you can do a basic uh, quality control on your FASTQ file.